All right, in this video, I am going to create the head of our robot lamp. The 3D cursor is right here at the end of the neck. And let's go ahead and do the head. I think the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to bring in a UV sphere. I'm going to change this to 20 and 10. Let's go into edit mode and scale it. Let's do something like that. I'm bring the 3D cursor right back there. I'm going to RX 90. We'll start with that and see if we like that. Go to wireframe, press 1 for vertex selection. I'm going to press B to box select and select, uh, let's see, yeah, all of those. We'll get rid of that. All right, press number 2. Let's go back into solid. Select that edge, E. I'm going to extrude out just a little bit. And then I'm going to extrude out some more like this. I'm going to press E and S and make that lip E come out E and S and come in and I'm going to leave it at that point because I'm going to do some stuff in the front okay something like that now let's press slash key to focus just on that and control 7 to look from the bottom go into edit mode 3 for face selection and I'm going to start selecting this stuff here I'm going to use that to make the neck from 3 I'm going to press E to extrude pull down a little bit and I'm going to press SZ0 to straighten it out pull it down a little bit more and now I'm going to delete these faces and select that edge and with loop tools, convert that to a circle. I'm going to press S to scale, pull it in a little bit. Maybe I'll pull it back just a bit. I'm going to press E to extrude again, come down a bit more. E and S. I may have to adjust this part looking at the diagram. Actually, what I mean to say is the rest of the model. All right, let's put a control 2 on that and have a look at the pinching there. And what I might do is control plus a couple of times to get to there. I might pull this back just a little bit. I'm okay with that. So let's take this up. Let's take one of these. First of all, I'll just shift D. And I'm going to break off the mirror. And move this over. Rotate Y90. do that now we'll take this and let's I'm gonna press S to scale it globally like that so the dimensions aren't bad so I think I'll go ahead and start Putting in some edge loops. Okay. I'm going to take this edge and just S and scale it in a bit more. Put an edge loop down there. Put one here. I'm going to make this a little bit long, but just to make it similar to that. Okay, so 
now I'm going to come in here. And I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger as well. And at the back where I get this pinching on this UV sphere, I'm just going to delete that and select that E and S, come in E, extrude back a little bit and S to scale a bit, E and S and F. I'll slide one inch down there. Yeah, there, there could be the button or something. Yeah. Okay. So I've got that. We again need this. But it's going to be bigger, but I'm going to scale, not in the Y, scale shift Y. Uh, do that, start pulling that in. This kind of a thing. I want to leave a little bit of thread back there. It's not a bad size for this, but I think I'm going to get rid of the front threading here. So I'm going to control plus a few times. We'll do it to their X faces and see where we're at. Okay, at that point, I'm going to extrude it back in. And I'll probably need to adjust the diameter of that, but before I do that, I'm going to create the bulb. So I'm going to come in here, and with that circle selected, I'm going to shift S, cursor selected, to bring my next object there. All right, so I'm going to make the bulb, but it's going to be a simple bulb. I'm going to use a UV sphere. I'll use the same 20 and 10. Rotate X90. I'm going to pull it out a ways. I'll bring the 3D cursor right to there. Okay, for this one, I want to control two and shade smooth. And I'm also going to add auto smooth. Okay, scroll down. So this is sphere zero one. In fact, I'm going to call this bulb. Okay, now we've got this stretching right here. So I want to deal with that. And the way I'm going to do that is set even the origin geometry i'm going to shift d to make a duplicate of that okay bulb zero zero one i'm going to go into edit mode rotate x 90 so that this sphere which has a subdivision of two is round at the front and it's got its poles up here it's also got the same you know subdivision and it's got the auto smooth on now I'm going to hide that one and come back to my original bulb here. All right. I want to come in and where I want that roundness is at the pole. I don't care about the back because I'm going to do something with that. So I'm going to select that vertex and control plus. This area is where I want the roundness of this other bulb. So I'm going to create a vertex group. Click on the triangle. Vertex group. I can leave it called group, but don't forget to press assign. You can deselect and then select again, make sure it's working. So I've created a little area that I want the smoothness from the other, the other uh, UV sphere. So on this same one, I'm going to come to the modifiers. I've got my subdivision of two. I'm going to choose data transfer. I want to transfer some data from this bulb here. So in source, I'm going to choose bulb 001. I want to transfer it to this vertex group, which is the front here. And I'm going to choose face corner data. And under here, I'm going to choose custom. And then I'm going to choose nearest face interpolated. And now it's gone. So it's using the smoothness of the second bulb or UV sphere right in this area. Now, I can now come in. I'm going to make a couple of changes here. 
I'm going to delete those vertices. Select this. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I need to go a little further up. That's probably okay. I'm going to select here. I'm just making a, anything for a bulb. I'm not really too worried about it. I'm going to do that. I'm still okay. But before I move it, I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply my subdivision actually and the data transfer. I can now come back to this bulb and delete it. And that's my bulb. Let's change the size of it and it's smooth. Okay, so now what I want to do is just decide how I want to finish this off. Um, let's see. I may just grab these faces inside here. Control plus. I'm going to scale shift Y to make them smaller. Like this. Pull this guy in. And scale shift Y. And you can play with this to, to your heart's content, obviously. And that's the general idea, though. Double check one more time. Okay. Let's try this mad cat. Well, that's what I got so far. And I think in the next video, I will just look at are there any other pieces? that I still need to do and then I will sort of uh, well then I'll move on to texturing materials and final posing of this thing all right cool so thanks for watching and hope to see you next time